These are the Shure SRH 840 Studio Reference Headphones. I just got these headphones in from Shure as a warranty replacement after my SRH 440s broke. So let's go over what you get and whether or not they're worth it compared to my previous headphones. Shure sent me these headphones a few months back after my previous set of Shure SRH 440s broke. The one thing broken on the 440s was the headband, which had snapped at two places at the hinge. I used a bit of plastic epoxy to put them back together and they work well again, except for that they don't fold anymore. Since the price changes on these headphones all the time, I've linked to them in the video description so you can check out where to buy them. In general, they tend to cost about twice as much as the 440s. In the box, the first thing we get is a manual, but that's not really important for me for a set of headphones. Next we have our headphones and a few accessories. The headphones and the cable are packaged separately to prevent any damage during shipping. The cable connects to the headphones and has a twist lock so it doesn't accidentally pop out if you pull on it. It's also coiled so it doesn't get all tangled. There's also a screw on quarter inch adapter so these headphones can be used with a quarter inch or 3.5 millimeter headphone output. Finally, there's a bag to transport the headphones in. This will keep them clean, but it's soft so I don't really expect it to protect the headphones very much. As for comfort, they do feel very nice. They seem a little heavier and they squeeze my head a little more than my previous set, but they overcome that issue with more padding. On the 440s, I felt the ear pads were a little thin and they would start to hurt after extended use. I don't have that issue with these. The headband also has a little more padding on it. I actually like the ear pads so much on these that I did end up replacing the ones on my 440s with the spare set. The build quality doesn't really seem all that different from the 440s. The headband is still plastic which means it can still break in the same way that my previous set did. Another weak point I've had with these headphones is a small pin that connects the earpiece to the headband. That broke on another set. Luckily Sure has excellent customer service for getting these replaced and they can still be fixed with epoxy. With these 840s, I've also seen replacement headband units available online, so that pretty much solves the issue compared to the 440s. Another concern I've had with these headphones is the loose wire connecting each speaker. I've always been worried about it accidentally getting caught on something and pulling, but I've never actually had it happen. I just wish there was some sort of covering to prevent that from happening. Now let's get to the important part, sound quality. I was skeptical at first with these and I didn't think I would notice much of a difference, let alone a difference that would justify twice the price. When I put them on, I did notice a huge improvement and I understand now why Shure considers these their reference headphones. Everything seemed a lot clearer with a crisp high end and smooth bass. The low end was a lot more prominent but not overpowering and this is backed up by the frequency graph for these headphones. Overall I could hear all the instruments a lot cleaner and everything had more separation. That's not to say you should be using them for mixing though. Mixing should still be done on a set of monitor speakers or at least a set of open back headphones. What these are good for is hearing the fine detail in your recordings and making sure there's no issues. They also allow for great stereo separation, so if you're checking your panning between tracks, I would recommend these. So for a set of closed back headphones to check your recordings and record tracks like vocals and drums, I definitely recommend the Shure SRH 840 headphones. Thanks for checking out this video on the Shure SRH 840 reference headphones. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also follow us on our social media and those links are in the video description below.